Welcome back to another training with Boot Equinox. This is Baron Solomon and this is going to be a quick overview of business continuity and disaster recovery as a topic. So let's go ahead and jump in. Business continuity and disaster recovery is mostly a cloud solution that we can provide our clients so that they can be prepared in the event of a natural disaster or a major outage of some type. So uh, disaster recovery in general is normally referencing our ability to replicate data that they have on-premise in their business to a server in a data center somewhere um, via a NAS device that is going to transmit the changes at the end of the day uh, to our server environment. Um, you know why this is Im important is obviously data is mission critical to most businesses uh, most companies could not afford to withstand a major outage of any type just because what they have from a technological standpoint often represents their ability um, and the scope of their ability to work on a day-to-day -day basis um, you know what we are looking for when we're looking for potential disaster recovery business continuity client is someone who does not currently have a plan in place today um, but could obviously really use one um, somebody who has a large amount of actual physical infrastructure on premises um, that they need help backing up into the cloud and individuals who um, have an understanding of what it would mean to their company if they experienced an outage um, so you know, like I just said, we're going to cover the target audience. We're also going to go over some questions, you know, that you should ask when identifying, um, you know, who is a good potential target and what information you need to get a quote for this service. Um, again, mostly when we're talking about this, we're looking for um, companies that are not prepared already for the event of an outage or if they are um, we can still provide them with a quote but at that point it would simply be to um, refine their disaster recovery plan or reduce their cost on a month-to-month -month basis um, but right now for you you're gonna be looking for individuals who um, don't already have a a fully baked disaster recovery solution and what that means is if you hear somebody describe um, you know how they they back up to an external hard drive that the IT um, you know director just keeps in a safe in the office or if somebody says they back up to tape um, or they don't back up at all those are individuals who you are going to be looking for to provide a quote for re re <laughs> disaster recovery business continuity differentiators well you know what is different about our solutions as opposed to a lot of individuals out there this is strictly from an Equinox communications standpoint um, you know we can deliver them services where they have no hands-on involvement um, we will come in and restore everything obviously we've got um, you know really great platforms that everything sits on um, you know, real-time data and application replication we can absolutely do that for clients. We can make sure that as soon as um, they exp experience an outage on site, that available that information is available and working to them um, in a fully baked environment. Um, these are just some of the things that we can provide via either our carrier, Equinox Communications, or some of our partner relationships. We really have access to um, a full array of cloud providers that can provide disaster recovery solutions so you're really not limited in what you can provide to a customer but these are just some things to know if somebody asks you hey can you do this the answer to that is yes um, you know some more features that we have here you know we protect physical and virtual servers we will absolutely back up um, you know virtual servers for individuals as well which is something that is often Desire, desired in a disaster recovery solution um, you know we have four hour or less if they're willing to pay for it re recovery time objectives or mean time to repair is another way that sometimes people say that meaning if they go down they will be back up and running in no less than four hours they will have full production capabilities in no less than four hours 
So this is really, you know, the most important section of this presentation is for you to get a handle on some of the qualifying questions, what we are you know, looking to ask to determine if a client really is a candidate for a disaster recovery solution. Um, so read through these, understand what we are you know, saying when we're asking for these. Um, you know, do you have a plan in place today? How much would it cost you? Understand hard and soft cost analysis. You know, hard costs is obviously um, the direct dollars that they would you know, lose if their servers were to go down and they were not able to process credit cards or they could not receive um, you know, mobile payments for a website. Um, but obviously soft costs as well is the time that it takes to um, repair it's the you know loss of reputation from individuals not being able to access their information those are all the soft costs associated and um, with having an outage a lot of times the hard costs are the only ones that people want to look at but you need to explain to them that there's more on the line than just dollars obviously dollars are going to be the most motivating factor but you can use hard and soft cost analysis to show somebody exactly how many dollars they're losing long term from and I use dollars as a you know a, a loose term there, meaning the amount of money that they're losing just by the damage to their reputation in the long term. So you can ask you know all of these questions. These are all very good for you to identify and understand. Um, if you get no's to a lot of these or the I don't know, we're not sure. Those are going to be individuals that you're going to be looking to provide a disaster recovery quote for. So, you know, what do you need to get a quote? Well, you know, this is important for you to know and understand. If it's just for backup, you just need to know, you know, how many servers are we backing up and how much storage do you need? That's it. That's really all that you need to know to get a disaster recovery quote for someone. Also, for cloud disaster recovery solutions where they're looking for a full production ready environment, obviously that's going to be a little more involved. Um, you know, how many servers, CPU, RAM, how much storage, but also in addition to that, you're going to need to know, um, you know, what types of applications they're running, what types of servers there are. Um, we have all of this in a, you know, a form for you later on to um, look at and understand and process. But for now, these are the immediate questions that you need to ask before we get an engineer involved, just to understand what type of opportunity that you're looking at. So again, this has been just a real quick overview of the idea of business continuity and disaster recovery. This is something that is a hot button issue right now. DR is absolutely um, on fire in the market right now. You're going to be looking at individuals very frequently who will actually ask you about a disaster recovery solution because they want to know, um, you know what they can do pr to protect their data. So uh, remember the questions from the slides. Remember what you need to know to get a quote. And absolutely ask every single customer you come into contact with what their disaster recovery plan is um, because most of the time if they have one, it's not a very good one. So this represents a really great opportunity for us to get into the market and uh, make a statement about how important this is to companies. So again, this has been a training with Blue Equinox, and we will see you next time.